guys, it's me, Britt. Um, it is Tuesday, early, early in the morning. Um, <clears throat> I woke up and the power was out, and I wasn't able to have coffee first thing in the morning, which is kind of irritating, but whatever. It came on about half hour, 40 minutes after I woke up, so I actually <laughs> did get coffee. No coffee makes for me a very grouchy morning. Very. So, I know I, <clears throat> I know I talked yesterday about how my day was good and how I kind of wish that every day was like that and I was hoping that today would be like that, which it's so far so good. I've been up for about an hour and a half, hour, and so far it seems to be fine. So what I wanted to talk about to you about yesterday and my DP not being in full swing was I went in the house to make dinner. And typically when I go in there, I'm really nervous and my DP is really bad because I'm around people in a home that I don't necessarily know I'm not there all the time. So I'm cooking dinner and I'm like, oh my god, this feels great. Like I can feel myself cooking dinner. I can hear everybody around me. I can talk and not be nervous. And I could physically feel like I'm there. Which was exciting and scary all at the same time. Because I'm not used to feeling when I'm around other people. Because I put up that guard. So I'm like, alright, let's just enjoy this moment. So I'm like, woohoo, this is freaking awesome because it doesn't happen often so Jimmy gets home and I have dinner ready and he turns on the kitchen light above us the lights around <coughs> don't necessarily bother me but when it's right above me it does so I started to fog out that's kind of what I call DP when I'm in an episode because like, everything is foggy my there, like I said, there's no mind-body connection, and it's foggy, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let this light bother me. <laughs> what made it even worse was the light was flickering, so I'm like, oh my god, you're really testing my, I don't necessarily want to say patience, but you're testing my mental strength right now, because I'm sitting there fighting, not allowing the light to bother me and I know that sounds absolutely weird that a light would bother me but it is a trigger because of something that happened a while ago like 10 years ago <coughs> um, so dinner was good the chicken could have been better but and the potatoes were really good um, I, I'm proud of myself because I was able to talk myself out of having a flashback before it even happened or to send me back to that moment, which is actually a flashback. So, dinner's done, I do the dishes, we go in and watch a movie, and I have these time lapses where I'll be in mid-conversation, I'm like, oh, what did I just say? I know what I said, but I don't remember saying it. But I can continue on with the same conversation. And I'll say something and then automatically go, oh, did you just say that? And then I'll say something else like, well, did you just say that? And it's scary because I don't like not knowing if I actually said that. I know I did, but I don't physically feel like I said it. Mentally, I did. So that was kind of my evening last night. But I was trying not to let it bother me. Yeah, it sucked. But it didn't get to me like normal. Normally. <laughs> um, so that was good. Um, I fell asleep watching Gremlins 2. Which I'm bummed. I'll have to watch it today. Because it's a really good movie. If you guys haven't watched Gremlins, you totally have to. Poor Gizmo. Oh, and Jimmy can mimic those freaking Gremlins to a T. It's kind of scary, actually. Very scary. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, t 
today I'm just gonna hang out and crochet and watch some movies and clean up the house and try and make the day go by quick so when Jimmy gets home so he'll get home faster if that makes sense um, I made another scarf yesterday so this is called the texture Textured, oh my god, I can't tell. Scarf. So it's got, so it's got different stitches. I know you guys probably don't care. <coughs> but it's got the front post stitch. See how it kind of pops out? And then the bobble stitch. Obviously, why they call it bobble. Also, it looks like popcorn. And then here's the, the puff stitch because it's a little puff, I guess. So here's that. I'm going to work on another one in a cream beige type color. I have to go get more yarn this weekend because I'm running low. I don't like having only three skeins of yarn because I panic because in case I get bored and there's nothing else to do. I can only sweep and mop so much. I mean I can pour coffee all over the place and clean it but today I don't feel like doing that. So I'm making my <laughs> get me some yarn this weekend because this bitch is broke. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Um, I think I want to do a video about how I grew up and how I see now how borderline personality disorder affected me in my relationships. And yeah. I will talk to you guys later.